you gotta put your past behind you. Look, kid. Bad things happen, and you can't do anything about it, right? Right. Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. Before I introduce what this trailer's name is, let's go back six weeks to go from the time I'm filming this and see what this trailer looks like. It's changed dramatically. I'm super proud of what it has come out to, and I'm super grateful for it. Go back. I have been also been lucky enough to get a tr new trailer to me. It's about 20 odd years old. It's a project trailer, but it doesn't stop anything. This trailer is going to be good. It's going to be a good asset to the business, and it's going to make us more efficient, more faster, whatever else. It needs a bit of paint and a bit of rust surfacing, new tyres as well. So yeah. Give you a bit of tour. So it's a six by four high-sided plywood, extended drawbar as usual, and then <laughs> so then there's a ramp. So that's going to save our backs now. Ramp into a pretty big box. Fits more nicely, but yeah, it's gonna need a bit of work. because it just needed a coat. The inside, I don't, I, it's still the original colour on the wood. I painted all the metal on the inside, but it's still the original colour on the inside. Why have I left it? Well, it's just gonna get scratched up, why scratch? When it needs to be painted, it will get painted. This used five, six, eight paint uh, spray tins uh, to do the whole trailer. And I'll do that next year and then I'll paint the inside probably. And I don't, yeah. That's why I don't, didn't paint the inside. Save you from answering in the comments. Um, it is a 6x4 extended drawbar. Um, the guy that owned this prior to me, he um, drawbar stopped. I'll show you where. And he goes, well, it's a bit hard to reverse and he extended the drawbar. I do need to replace these tyres, but that's left, so what I've done, rust converted it, painted it, painted the wood, uh, added a number plate light, uh, added some latches here, all up it's about 300 Australian dollars to do a Renault on the trailer. I still need to change the tyres, tire, but we'll get there. But it's the rubber, not the rims. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the most usable, favourite part I like about this trailer, and why it's the best trailer I've um, got and used. So you may be asking, why is this the best trailer I've used? Well, the best to make you more efficient, you need a ram. Let's bring this in. saves my back, 
dining seat and trailer. This saves my back, my, not so much muscle, but saves my back. My mom is 50-ish or so kilos, it's quite heavy. Um, and it makes it easier to load stuff up and in. But it's a bit sketchy like this. Don't do that at home. This is high sides. I'm gonna tip it. This is high sides. It is the best trailer I have used to date. As you can see, I've added these two latches. Uh, Anti-vibration latches, I think they're called. Cool. Uh, and as I said before, I have not painted. This rope is to tie it down the mower so it doesn't swing back and forth. Um, it is a 6x4, 6x4 feet uh, long and then wide. That black paint, I didn't want to go gloss, so yeah. This floor, it has changed massively. It all was rust, like surface rust, so it wasn't that bad rust. But I'm proud of what it has come up to. And I think it's the best looking trailer out there. Not biased. Nah, jokes. Uh, this trailer is pretty, it's about 20 odd years old. And I had the best parents around that supported me. If I had, did not have a trailer for three years, I kept wanting one. But I'm like, well, I'm still young. Who knows what my future's gonna be. And I plan to do, be a trader of some sort. Maybe I plan to do landscaping, but I'm gonna maybe do my carpentry apprenticeship. So either or, this trailer is top neck for all the trades. Um, yeah, so it's a nice, nice trailer for a teenager that doesn't even drive yet. End of this year, of 2019. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is David Ratcliffe. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next video. David.